Hey foodies, welcome and welcome back to Cooking with Kiana. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing one of my favorite Thanksgiving recipes with you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make smothered turkey wings. And let me tell you, they are absolutely delicious. If you're not a big fan of cooking a whole turkey on Thanksgiving, this is a great alternative. Just make you some smothered turkey wings. They have so much flavor. I'm telling you guys will definitely enjoy this recipe. But enough running my mouth. Leave a like if you enjoyed the recipe. Make sure you subscribe if you are new to my channel. Now let's get started. So here are all the ingredients that you'll be needing for this recipe. I'll also have the full list listed in the description box below so you can go ahead and check that out. So for seasoning today, I'm going to be using one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of dried thyme, two teaspoons of Old Bay, two teaspoons of black pepper, two teaspoons of Larry's, two teaspoons of Cajun seasoning, and two teaspoons of complete seasoning. One Nor chicken bouillon cube, one yellow onion and two stalks of celery chopped finely. Another yellow onion with a bell pepper, make sure that's roughly chopped. Then I have some olive oil that I'm gonna be using to drizzle over the turkey, two cups of water, one sprig of sage, four cloves of garlic, and one fourth cup of flour. So today I'm gonna to be using four large turkey wings. So what I just went ahead and did was separate the drums from the flat and then I got rid of that wing that's on the end. And of course you want to go ahead and wash those off, pat it dry. Then I'm just going to hit it with a generous amount of olive oil. And now we're just going to go ahead and go in with all of those seasonings. Make sure we mix it together first. That way that seasoning is evenly distributed all throughout. And then we're just going to go ahead and add all of that seasoning to our turkey wings. Now once you're done adding the seasoning, you're going to go in with your hands and make sure that seasoning is massaged all over your wing. That way we can get a good seasoning on those wings. We want the wings to be seasoned from the inside out. So after you're done seasoning up your wings, you can go ahead and pop that in the fridge for at least three hours. And this is just so your meat could be nice and penetrated with that seasoning. However, if you don't have time, you can skip that step. All right, so now you're going to take a baking dish. Go ahead and spray that with some olive oil. Now go ahead and add your wings, making sure you leave a little bit of space in between. That way they can all cook evenly in the oven. So now we can go ahead and add the onions and bell peppers on top. And you're just going to go ahead and place this on top of your wings. This is just going to give your gravy so much more flavor. So now that we're all done preparing our wings, we're just gonna go ahead and cover that with some aluminum foil. And it's very important that you cover it with aluminum foil for the first hour that you cook it, because you wanna make sure those wings kind of steam up so they can let out some of those juices. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven for 375 for about an hour and 15 minutes. All right, so now that our wings have finally came out the oven, you just wanna go ahead and let those cool off. And then we're just gonna go ahead and save all of those turkey drippings. We're gonna be using that for our gravy. So in a skillet on about medium to low heat, you're gonna go ahead and melt four tablespoons of butter. Then you're gonna add in your celery and onions. Go ahead and give that a good stir until that becomes nice and translucent. Now we're gonna go in with our sage, as well as the garlic, and you just wanna go ahead and give everything a good stir. You want that sage to get nice and toasty so it can release some of those oils. That way it can give our gravy an amazing flavor. So now you're gonna go in with your flour. You just wanna add in a little bit at a time, give it a good stir, and just gradually add in that flour. You wanna make sure you cook out that flour a little bit. You do not want your gravy to have a flour taste. So we are not going to add in our fat until our flour is like a light brown color. So now you're going to go ahead and add in all of the fat and juices from the turkey drippings. And then we're just going to gradually stir that in as well. All right, so once everything is mixed to a smooth consistency and there's no more lumps, you're going to go ahead and add in your two cups of water followed by a Maggie or Nora Boyan cube. You can go ahead and crush that up with your hands. That way it can better dissolve in that gravy. Now you're just gonna go in with your whisk and go ahead and give that a good stir until everything is well combined and you don't see any more lumps. 
Just keep stirring that sauce until it is a smooth, silky-like consistency. Now, once you notice that sauce starts to thicken up, go ahead and kill the heat. Remember, you don't want your sauce to be too thick because this is going to go back in the oven and it's going to thicken up even more. So this is the perfect consistency. All right, so now we are almost done. We just have one more step and that's just to go ahead and add the gravy on top of the wings. You wanna make sure your wings are nice and smothered. So don't be skimpy when it comes to the gravy, make sure you use all of it. So now you're just gonna go ahead and pop that back in the oven on 375 for about 35 minutes uncovered. And there you have it, smothered turkey wings. I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. If you did, you can find the full recipe in the description box below so you guys can make this at home. Once you guys do make this at home, make sure you guys leave a comment below. Let me know how it turned out, if your family enjoyed it. I just love hearing all that stuff in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next recipe.